next video i am going to talk about sql server integration services i would be talking about i will show you a demo how to use the conditional split okay i have just started the uh, microsoft visual studio 2008 and as you can see i can actually click new project and i should select the integration project and i can name it conditional split conditional split and okay it's okay for me to actually i'm putting it in a location that will be training but you can put it in any other folder okay and i'm going to click okay in this case and it will start the visual studio as you can see the first thing you have to do is always to bring it the data flow task this is the main task without it you cannot actually proceed further so this thing you need to say uh, data flow task conditional conditional split this is what we are going to do once i have i can double click it and i get to the data flow in the data flow i have many data source okay i can actually move only one of them i need oledb okay right now oledb is used for the data source used for connecting to the database like sql server oracle cybers and many other things you know and the only thing is that now i need to actually i have brought this data source data flow source here i need to actually initialize it so i go and i need to get a give a connection manager which means i want need to get a i need to create a connection in this case i have the database otherwise you could have said new and you could select the local or whatever your server name was and i can okay i will just do it if you have a local server you can say local and then you can select the database you want in this case i am going to use the old database that used to come with pubs pubs database is very old it is available from the sql server i don't know maybe 2007 or maybe sorry sql server 7 and other way, but this is from 2000 and actually i have been bring it into the 2008 also and click okay now and this is how you actually get it connected to the pubs okay now i need to select a table there are many options here i could have select the sql command table name view variable if, but in this case i am going to select the table so i am going to select the table if i have selected the sql command i could have put the sql here but right now i am not going to do it and i could actually build a query in fact and after building a query i can click the parse which is dim by right now because there is no query in it it the parse query will actually check whether the query is correct or not but in this case i am going to select the table and the, this is the first i need to select the authors i can give a preview okay there it is i can see everything is okay fine with me fine with the table of the author basically what we are going to do now i can go to check the columns and error output this is okay i just have to click okay and we have got it set now basically what i need is to actually the author tables has many uh, authors from different state i need to actually split them into the different files so what i want to need is conditional split so i bring the data flow transform or the conditional split that is conditional split transform and connect it to the oldb source once i get it connected i can actually make it work now what i want to do is ne i need to put a condition the first condition i need is that i need for the authors for the state for the ca that is means i need the authors that could be coming for the state ca so i can actually go to the column drag the condition here okay uh no need for that thing clear it what dragged it at the wrong place 
I need to delete it. So state has to come on the first line as you will see and we have an operator. I can type it also but I can use the operator and I can have to use and remember for the state equals to CA CA always remember the double quotes put the double quotes for the CA otherwise it will not work it will give you and if you once you move to the next line if this remains red this line means there is an error in that line so you need to rectify it but in this case once I went to the next line this became black so it is okay now again I can actually I want for the state equals to Indiana I say Indiana I state bring the state here okay I will going to bring the state here I'll delete it later no problems and I will say equals to as you can see and in this case I will say I n in this case I am going to use I want the state for ut and tn so I can say and tn that is would be the state equals ut equals to equals to operator bring it here I can use ut ut oh, oh. ut and then I can actually if I want it or I need to use or because I need for the both of the states so I have to need use or logical or basically remember that thing the or that doesn't work for this thing as you can see move to the state copy it paste it once you are oh, paste it here and change it to tn once I change it to the TN TN that's it now that I have got it for the TN and I have got it and I need to click OK and once I click OK OK wait there is a problem delete it now we have three one click OK and that sub conditional split is ready the good thing is that now I need now the conditional split is got ready so I will have be having a state for CA in one file I need a state for IN in one other file I need a state for UT and TN in the third file now I need to have a destination file the destination file can be any of these things but in this case I am going to select a flat file flat file is used for a text file you can connect it and it will ask you what do you want to put it so in this case I will be putting it as a CA that is for the California leave it as it no need to worry about it so now I can drag another one in this thing again I put it this time I will select the Indiana and again I will drag the third one I will put a uh, third file this is connected to it and this is UT and TN so far so good now I need is to configure the file how do I configure the file to configure the file I need to double click it and I will need to select a new it and see that the limited is selected and click OK and in this fly flat file I can say flat file CA and I need to give a location where the flight file in this way I know I am actually in the training directory I just have to say CA 
no need to say text I just need to say CA that's it if there is it's overrided no need to worry about it in this case always click the first column for the first row there's a column name for the first row always because it has a column name for the first as you can see now it is coming it has come into the data and you have got the data if you want to check it you can see that it is for the state of the California there is nothing else it's already there actually you can preview it and you can see it and I'm going to click OK and I need to click on the mapping otherwise this is a dim view you need to click the mapping okay now this is okay now it is mapped to the correct field from available input to the available destination and click OK and we have got the flat file configured for the CA state we will do the same thing for the state flat file we are going to click new delimited this time going to be flat file name is California and it was uh, Indiana so I say Indiana click browse I n I'm going to click I n and I'm going to leave it and column names for the first row columns as there's only one row you can see it has been showing it click OK again go to mapping check it out see the configuration manager click OK again this is done now we go for the third file third file again we click new delimited as this click OK we go to the flat file and we say ut and the n once we and we can go and say ut and tn text okay it's already there so I will select it you can type it and again need to column as a first name the columns are there you can see that there are the three rows has come up for this thing at once and all those things now this is done mapping is done it is perfectly done if you want you can rename by renaming it rename it flat file ca ca and then you can say rename flat file uh, in and just it is a description that is easier for people to understand ut and tn now that I have got it I know it's going to work but in the case if you wanted to see a data in between before it was coming you could click on this precedent and you can say data viewer and you can add a data viewer when you click add you select the grid and click OK click OK and you won't have repeat it for this precedent double click it data viewer add and click the grid and click OK click OK again do the same thing for the third one data viewer add it click OK OK now we have three data viewer once we have done you can rename you could have renamed the package if you wanted I can rename it right now no problems I could say uh, uh, conditional split so, ok con condition split this will ask me do you yes click it yes I should have done that thing in the very beginning but no problems still it is ok now I can run this thing and execute the package once I execute the package you will see all these things actually open up this is a it is going to show the data because we added a grid here actually data viewer and this is one of the thing if you want to detach it you can detach it and the, you will see that your script moves now it is actually hanging at the if you see it's hanging you know because the thing is that only two of the terms have gone actually and done no slang because I need to detach it and you see everything gets done once you detach it or you say continue it will create and you 
are done and you are you can see the file do exist with the CA and will have carry the data for the the CA will carry the data for the authors from CA and the IN will carry the file would carry the authors from IN and this would carry the authors for UT or N to N. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.